Okay, so a Beijing ad ban, not the only concern for luxury brands right now. The Japan quake and unrest in the Middle East have cast a cloud over Basel World, the high-end watch and jewelry show happening now. I spoke to Jean-Claude Biver, the boss of LVMH-owned watchmaker Hublot. Here's what he had to say. Strangely enough, we have seen uh, our sales, our sellout, sellout uh, going down in the Middle East uh, and not so much in Japan. So we might eventually be more affected uh, by the Middle East. Now, we must also say and not forget that we are in Switzerland and we work with Swiss francs and the Swiss franc at the moment is terrible. You know, it's a, a one American dollar is, is 0 0.9 Swiss francs, it's below one. And we are suffering, of course, from this exchange rate. And the exchange rate, the only country where the exchange rate is still okay for us, uh, for us with Swiss money, is Japan. So in the Middle East, we have also uh, the Swiss franc or the weak dollar mm. which is not helping us so we have the the cries in the Middle East uh, the uncertainty and we have of course uh, the, the the Swiss franc the strength of the Swiss franc which is not helping so we have two elements uh, additionally uh, in the Middle East let me ask you about the overall picture for the industry you've got trouble in the Middle East you have uh, a rising franc Swiss franc which will also be hurting companies like your own you have trouble in Japan, you have a slowdown in Europe. What do these factors all combined mean for the outlook, not just for your company, but for the industry as a whole ahead? Yes. I think for, for my company and for the whole industry, uh, we might still, still uh, make the best year of our history. Swiss watch industry might uh, hit and do the best year ever in 2011 if things are going on like now, even, even if there's a slowdown in Japan and eventually in the Middle East, we have huge compensations from countries like Latin America, which are really booming, or countries like Russia or India or, or Indonesia, Singapore, uh, where f for our industry, those cities and those countries are really strong and they are compensating a rather weak Europe or uh, the problems in the Middle East or in Japan. Now, Europe is not so weak as we could think the economy is, because in Europe we sell a lot of watches to tourists, Japanese, uh, Chinese tourists, uh, tourists from the South uh, uh, America. They're coming to Europe and they shop in Europe. Uh, you heard that uh, Galerie Lafayette and Louis Vuitton are the two first visit uh, uh, sites that are visited by Chinese before Eiffel Tower and before any museum. So uh, these shoppers, they uh, help to maintain Europe at, a, at a quite a reasonable level.